Hi guys! So, a few weeks ago, I was browsing the MKS based store on AliExpress and found this closed loop motor. We got a bit curious, so we decided to order one and test it. The package arrived this week, and this is what's inside. This is the motor with the board at the back side. The driver adapter that will replace the stock driver as we will show you in a few minutes. The connection cable from the motor to the board and the connection cable from the motorboard to the main board. It's called a closed loop because this small board includes a microcontroller that knows how many steps are sent to the motor. Then a small magnetic sensor senses the rotation of the motor and that information goes back to the microcontroller. The microcontroller then knows if the motor turned the same amount of steps as it was told to. The correction of its position is done on the fly and super fast. In other words, this motor will not lose steps and if it does, there is a small blue LED that will light up and let you know. This closed loop motor can only be installed in printers that have main boards with replaceable drivers such as the MKS Gen boards for example. And you don't need any firmware change or major hardware changes, it's plug and play. The motor itself is an EMA 17 with a working current value of 1 amp. The sensor that reads the position of the motor shaft is an Allegro A1333 installed between the board and the motor. On the board you have an Atmel microcontroller and an Allegro A4954 driver. At the top you have a 4-pin connector that can be used to connect a small display. You have a small USB connector so that you can connect the motor to a computer and access several configurations. For that, you need to download the serial communication terminal software. We use the real terminal software, which is free, to communicate with the motor. On the board, you also have three buttons. These can be used to access menus and change the configurations as well, but for that, you need to have a small 0.96 inch OLED display like this one. The display will allow you to have constant information on the screen and easily modify the settings. Connecting the board with just the USB connection will allow you to access the menus. The menus will allow several things like run calibrations and test the calibrations and for this you need to have the motor connected as well. The output current and the stock value is 800 milliamps. The current when on hold. The micro stepping and the stock value is 1 by 16. The enable pin high or low. and the direction of the motor, clockwise or counterclockwise. The encoder has a very high resolution. As you can see, I'm applying a very small amount of force and visually, I cannot see the motor shaft turning, but the sensor can pick that up. For the tests, we decided to install the motor on the TIVO Tornado Y-axis. The TIVO Tornado Y-axis stepper motor is a more powerful motor because of its big heat bed. Many users have to increase the VREF of their Y-axis driver because of layer shift problems, which is the same as missing steps. So I think that installing this little motor on this heavy Y-axis is a great way to test it and see if it really does not lose any step. So let's start with the controller. As I mentioned earlier, you need to remove your access driver because the motor already has its own driver. So remove the driver and install the adapter.
and connect the big cable. This was the most difficult part of the installation and as you can see it's very easy. Before installing the motor on the printer I tested on my hand. By default it was turning in the wrong direction so we had to change the direction of the motor. As I said, it can be done using the display and buttons or using the computer and the terminal software. There is no need to change it in the printer's firmware. Next, remove the stock motor and install the new one. Let's skip the removal and installation of the new motor as this is nothing special. Now, to stress this motor, we ran several different test prints. One of them are these one wall wing sections. The reason for this test is to check if there is any salmon skin with this Allegro driver. And the tests confirm that there is. You can see a light salmon skin pattern done with the Allegro. The print done with the TMC driver has no salmon skin. And because when we think of salmon skin, we think of smoothers. We still have our old 8 diode smoothers laying around, so we installed one between the motor and the motor board and ran another test print. Unfortunately, the smoother had no effect whatsoever with this driver, and the salmon skin pattern is still present when printed with it. In some prints, we increased the acceleration up to 2000 and jerk to 20 and ran fast prints that required fast direction changes. The motor ran perfectly and never lost any step. In this print, you can see that the motor was able to maintain its position perfectly even with a heavy heat bed and with an additional 4mm glass on it. So in conclusion, and after all the tests done, we realize that we have good and bad news about this motor. And the positive things are that this motor, in fact, did not lose any step. Even when handling the Tivo Tornado big heat bed at fast prints and at high acceleration and jerk values, while running with the stock 800mm output current. The installation is plug and play, and accessing the settings is super easy. The Allegro driver runs cold and does not need any cooling fan or even a heat sink. Also, it does not make much noise. Now, the bad news are that you need to have a board with removable drivers to be able to install this motor. The Allegro driver included on the motor creates a bit of salmon skin on the prints and this weighs a lot in the decision for purchasing this motor. If the motor was equipped with a TMC or LV driver instead, we would not hesitate on buying one of these for each axis. And that's it you guys, don't forget to check the video description for all the links and additional information. As always, don't forget to follow us here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for more cool 3D printing stuff. If you like our work and wish to help, you can with Patreon. We will see you guys next time. Bye!